what is causing this noise in my head? Nobody seems to know. I do. I know. And I'm going to give you four words that you can use to identify what is causing tinnitus for you, for yourself, because it's different for everybody. My name is Sharon Smith, and I'm an expert in the mind-body connection and a number of mind-body techniques. And I want you to begin to understand that your thoughts and feelings, your emotions, have a profound effect on the way you feel physically in your body and have a, have a profound effect on whether or not you have tinnitus, whether or not you develop that. And I'm going to let you also know here that I have worked successfully with this a number of times with clients. In full transparency, none of these people came to me with this as their primary complaint, but it did resolve for all of them. They came to me for other reasons, but they all had that as, you know, a long down on the laundry list of things that they had going on. So you're gonna to wanna to watch all the way to the end of this video because I'm going to give you, after the four words, I'm gonna give you on the screen at the end of this video, the next video of mine that you need in order to help you get out of this problem and stop the ringing noise, that sound that you've got going on in your head. So you wanna watch all the way to the end. Now, if exploring the mind-body connection is not something you're interested in, if you're going, oh my God, I just wanna to go to the doctor and have him give me a pill. Stop watching this right now. This information is not for you. Go, get out, really. But what I'm going to talk to you about, and I'm gonna give you clear examples, is going to explain why there isn't a pill out there that all of you can take that will fix this problem. Because you have already looked and you know there's not. All right. So here are the four words. Are you ready? When did it start? When did it start? That's right. That is the key. That's the clue. That's the key to unlocking for you what's going on. When you look back at the time around when the noise in your head began, I want you to remember what was going on in your life around that time and in the days, weeks, and months leading up to that, because you're going to see some immediate connections. You might have been having a tremendous upheaval in your personal life. Maybe you were going through a divorce. Maybe you'd suffered a death in the family, something else. It could be almost anything, or it may have been a professional thing. You may have had a horrible boss or been fired from your job, had a company close that you worked for. It could be anything along those lines, but you are going to know what that was when you go back in time and look at when did it start? Okay. Now you're probably already going, oh, okay, well, I know exactly that. Most of you know that already. So I want to give you a couple of examples. And one of them is not somebody I worked with. It was a girl that I went to college with. And Every time we would get ready to go into finals, final exams, she would develop this horrible noise in her, in her ears, this noise in her head. And she talked about this at length and it happened like clockwork. Once we were through finals and she'd done just fine, she always did, she was brilliant, then it would immediately just stop. But leading up to taking those exams, she was just being driven nuts by it. And she had an overwhelming fear of failure. She talked about this. She had an overwhelming fear of disappointing her father. She was gonna be a doctor. He was a doctor. His dad was a doctor. And she put a lot of pressure on herself around exams and it resulted in tinnitus. I don't know if she still has it. I'm not in touch with her anymore. Now, another fellow that I worked with a little bit in one of my groups, he had suddenly become the sole caretaker for his elderly mother. And it was not a job he wanted. And it was a horrible job because she was awful to him. She would say terrible things to him when he was there trying to help her. 
And he had finally resorted to wearing earplugs so he didn't have to listen to her, but guess what else happened? Yep, tinnitus or tinnitus, depending on where you live in the world. Yeah, so those are the things that are gonna be your triggers. Now you're gonna to wanna to look at the emotions that you have around those situations and those events. That's a key. That's where your work is. And you're gonna to wanna to use some mind-body techniques like EFT tapping, some kind of visualization. I have a whole lot of things here on this channel, all designed to help you if you are suffering from tinnitus. So if you're enjoying this, I want you to subscribe so that you don't miss a new video. And stick around because the next video that you need is going to pop up here on the screen in just a moment. Stay tuned for more. I am here to help you. Thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon.